<laughs> um, you know, talking city council, uh, <clears throat> you've basically got Marta Gore. Uh, she's, Marta's, Marta's sort of an outsider. She's very idealistic, um, very green initiative friendly, but she's probably on the outside. You've got Sherry Tucker David, who's a big Arts of Collin County supporter. And then you've got Pete Huff, is, who is more of a pragmatic guy, and he's not really on board with that. So, you know, if Sherry Tucker David gets there, you've got her and Ray Ricky, who want this thing, so it will come back up. Um, we'll see. Uh, talking about school board to change topics, yes. So, what are the key issues for the schools in the, that area? Um, you know, it's it's we need more schools. They just McKinney just built another school. Uh, they're anticipating 100% um, growth in the next 10 years. So we've gone from one high school five years ago to now maybe six in the next 10 years, um, and that's it. A big issue is busing in McKinney. We're trying to keep the socioeconomic level balanced for each school. And, um, you know, we bus kids. Uh, you're not, it's not inner city busing necessarily, but they've sort of divided up the lines as such. And that seems to be the, the hot button. So we'll see. And uh, in terms of the candidates who are running, what are their positions? Um, Jim Pickle, actually, it's funny. He's a trial attorney, very passionate guy, kind of running from the heart, to be cliche. But uh, his whole agenda is this busing. He is completely against it. He thinks it's, you know, it's, it's ruining the town's fabric, I guess. Um, then you've got Dick Stevens, who is a uh, very logical, business-minded, long-range planning kind of guy, um, very on board with the busing. And Mark Yablon is sort of a, a middle-of-the-road guy. So it's kind of interesting. I, you know, we'll see how it shakes out.